66 miles an hour? Why'd you, uh, why'd you pull me over? You were doing 66 miles an hour in a school zone. The speed limit's 15 miles an hour. No, it wasn't. I clocked you on my radar. My dad's the police captain, James Porter. You're Captain Porter's son. Let's just pretend that this incident never happened, all right? Got that? There's no need to threaten me. Registration and proof of insurance. I don't have it. You realize you're required by law to have your registration and proof of insurance in your vehicle, in your possession, at all times, right? I realize you're supposed to have your car registration in your vehicle at all times. <laughs> of course I know that, dummy. Sir, have I insulted you in any way today? Hey! You digging a deeper and deeper hole for yourself? All right, you up here and I want you to go right here, okay? If you keep this up, you'll be collecting fool stamps by the end of the day. Sixty-six miles an hour? Not on my watch. <laughs> oh hell! No. What I do now? Afternoon. What's up? <laughs> why'd, you, uh, why'd you pull me over? You're serious. You were doing 66 miles an hour in a school zone. The speed limit's 15 miles an hour. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, you were. I, I clocked you on my radar. <laughs> well, there must be something wrong with that radar of yours because ain't no way in hell I was going that fast. Do, do you know who I am? No, should I? I'm Dion Porter. My dad's the police captain, James Porter. You're Captain Porter's son. Yeah, look, see? Wasn't aware that he had a son your age. Hmm. Hey. Hey, look, let's just pretend that this incident never happened, all right? Got that? Look, I get it. Your dad's Captain Porter, but I have a job to do, okay? There's no need to be confrontational with me. Your job? You won't be having a job if you keep this up. Sir, there's no need to threaten me. Can you please just get back in your vehicle? <laughs> nah, nah, I don't think I will. All right, get back in your vehicle. I'm asking you one more time or else. Or else what? Oh, oh I thought so. Look, will you just give me a registration and proof of insurance, please? Are you serious? Did you not just hear what I said? Sir, I'm being polite. Registration and proof of insurance. Now, just get the paper. <laughs> yeah, I don't have it. You don't have it. You realize you're required by law to have your registration and proof of insurance in your vehicle, in your possession, at all times, right? I realize you're supposed to have your car registration in your vehicle at all times. <laughs> of course I know that, dummy. Sir, have I insulted you in any way today? Yeah, you did. When you pulled me over. Why? Is it because I'm black? I what? pulled you over because you were doing 50 miles an hour over the speed limit. You were driving incredibly recklessly. That's why I pulled hey. you over. Hey. You digging a deeper and deeper hole for yourself? All right, you up here and I want you to go right here, okay? If you keep this up, you'll be collecting fool stamps by the end of the day. All right, I'm done with you. I'm calling your dad. Oh, please. Wait here. Go ahead, call him. Call him, please. Porter here. Hey, Captain Porter. How you doing? This is Officer Dickens. Hey Dickens, what's what's going on? 
Captain, I just pulled your son over for speeding. Don't, wait, Dad, he's lying, Dad. It's all lies. Trust me. Is that him yelling in the background? Yeah, it is. He's been quite animated since I pulled him over, and he's not cooperating at all. I'm honestly not really sure what to do at this point. Oh, whoa. That's all lies. I've been cooperating very nicely. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. Where are you guys? I'm at the parking lot right across the street from the Mango Park Mall. All right, hang tight. I'm on my way. Thanks, Captain. Your dad's on the way. Oh, you do. Jerk. Hey, guys. Hey, Captain. Dad, he's finally here, yeah. Hold on, son, let me talk to the officer first, okay? All right, bud, please hurry up. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get out of here. What happened? Well, like I told you on the phone, I pulled him over for speeding. And how fast was he going? 66. 66? That's what, 50 miles over, over the speed limit? That, that's a school zone. And then what happened? Well, he got out of his car immediately. It was incredibly confrontational. Threatened my job because you're his dad. I mean, I did the best I could. I tried to calm him down. I just asked him to please give me his registration and insurance, right? And he doesn't even have that. Unbelievable. Look, Captain, I don't want any trouble. I know I'm on thin ice for everything I've done in the past, so if I need to forget about this ever happening, I'm fine with doing that. Officer Dickens, listen. I'm very grateful that you called me. As a matter of fact, you did the right thing by calling me. Let me go talk to my son, get his side, so we can just wrap this up, okay? Hey, Dad, you gonna arrest that guy or what? What would I arrest him for? He, he pulled me over and then started harassing me? Son, he pulled you over because you were speeding. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Son, you are doing 66 miles per hour in a 15 mile per hour school zone. Dad! He's lying. Stop saying he's lying. He got you on a radar gun for God's sake. He could have arrested you for felony speeding. Plus, he's telling me that you didn't even have your registration or insurance. Well, you know, you're here, you know, right? You know, you're here to get me out of trouble, you know, right? That's what you do, right? Son, I keep you out of trouble by teaching you what's right from wrong. Not by coming here and saving you every time you get caught up in something. What do you mean? Son, what I mean is I'm tired of every time you screw up, I have to come and save you. You know, like that time you crashed your mom's car while you were texting and driving. Dad, that was one time. Okay, okay, okay. What about that time when me and your mother went away traveling and then you decided, along with your friends, to have a party at our house and you wrecked it? Okay, that was not my fault, okay? There were some unexpected guests and they trashed the house. There is nothing ever your fault. Are you listening to yourself? That's the story of your life and I am sick of it. But you know what? I know how to change that. I know how to fix that right now. So I can go now, right? Officer Dickens. Sir. Arrest that young man and transport him to the station. Wait. Wait. Dad, what are you talking about? You're under arrest for felony speeding. That's what I'm talking about. Are, are, are you out of your mind? I can't go to jail. Captain, why are you doing this? He needs to learn to take responsibility for his own actions. Plus, I am sick and tired of covering for him. Now book him. Yes, sir. Wait. Wait, Dad, hold on, wait, this is insane. This is insane, wait, dang, this is insane. Dad, this is Turn insane. Turn around. Wait, wait, ow, wow, ow, that hurts. Oh, those hurt. Wow. Wait, Dad, this is really insane. Dad, are you serious? Are you serious right now? This is crazy, Dad, this is crazy. Are you serious? Son, you have the right to remain silent. If you give up that right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. 
you have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you without cost. Do you understand these rights, son? Y yes. I didn't hear you. Yes. Get him out of here. And I'll let your mother know that you won't be joining us for dinner tonight. Thanks for the help, Captain. <laughs>